Hello, Cancer. Welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. How do they view your connection? How do they view you? What do they think about you? What do they wish they could tell you? And what are their intentions at this time? We're going to look at all of that today. So let's jump right in for Cancer. Spirit, angels, guides, messages, please, guidance for Cancer regarding love. Messages, guidance, please, for Cancer. I thought there was. What do we need to know about the person that's thinking about or connecting with Cancer Spirit at this time? How are they viewing Cancer or this connection? How do they view Cancer? Or this connection with cancer two of wands like there's a choice that needs to be made a path that needs to be chosen how do they view this connection with cancer or how do they view cancer the star Aquarius energy Hmm. I have a feeling this is about a choice. Nine of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. Someone's feeling like maybe they need to have hope or faith in a certain outcome, and it's all be like it's almost like if I make the right choice, will this happen? There's anxiety here about a choice. Let's see. Let's get some insight. Tell me about the Two of Wands. Why is the Two of Wands? So when this person thinks about you or views. How they view you or this connection is that there's an important choice to be made here or it could be a choice that you have to make cancer what's this two of wands about the hangman and the ace of swords maybe about being free because the devil is at the bottom of the deck the hangman is here so someone could be stuck hanging around um trapped in a situation and i feel like they're trying to decide I feel like someone could also be thinking about um, how to say something about this stuck energy, or maybe they're being honest with themselves about how they're stuck in the first place. There's a decision here about what to do regarding this entrapment, this attachment. Someone in this connection is stuck. Tell me about the star. I feel like they still have hope though with the star. Why is the star here? The five of wands. Yeah, there's a de there's definitely a conflict here, Cancer. And your person, and it has to do with your connection. Like this conflict is affecting your connection. There's someone here that feels stuck. Maybe they feel like they can't make a move towards you. Maybe they feel like they need to be honest with themselves about how trapped they are or how stuck they are and that they need to make a decision here. This could be regarding your connection specifically, or it could be that something's affecting them and therefore it's affecting this connection. Take it as it resonates. But there's definitely a problem here. I don't, what do they feel towards cancer at this time? Let's start there. Actually, let me get an oracle. Can I get some sort of insight into what's going on here? What's this person's overall energy when it comes to cancer? What's their overall energy towards cancer? What's their overall energy? Moving forward, taking action. So yeah, I feel like this is someone that wants to get out of the situation that they're in take some sort of action, move forward here. Because right now they're stuck and I don't think they wanna be stuck anymore. How do they feel about cancer? Spirit, how does this person feel about cancer? How do they feel? Strength, Leo energy. How do they feel about cancer? Maybe they see you as someone very strong. Four of Pentacles. How do they feel about cancer? Hmm. Justice, Libra energy. I think they want to make something right with you, cancer. I think that there's 
you know, it's almost like they see you as someone very strong, someone that's still invested in this. But at the same time, this there's an issue here that they need to take action on. So I feel like maybe they admire you for your strength, but at the same time, they know that something needs to be balanced out, fixed with justice. Five of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. So this person has regrets, sadness, disappointment. Something hasn't worked out. And I think they want to make things right. Definitely feel like this is someone that they, they want to take action. They want to move forward. I even think with the Ace of Swords here, they want to communicate or be honest. But I feel like there's something, there's a stuck energy here. What do we need to know about how this person is thinking or feeling about cancer? Storybook romance, romance, chemistry, mutual feelings. So I definitely feel like they think this is a special connection. Hoping that this is mutual, the feelings are mutual. How are they thinking, feeling about cancer? Once upon a dream, I know you, that gleam in your eyes is so familiar, a gleam. Past lovers, soulmate coming together. Oh yeah, they definitely feel like this is a strong connection. They definitely care about you, Cancer. Yeah, and Ever After is at the bottom of the deck as well. Happy endings, joy, resolution. They want to happily ever after with you. I think that's, you know, let's look at their intentions next. But I think that's really the goal here is to be with you. And this could be a soulmate, a past lover. And they want to come together here with you. What are this person's intentions? What are their genuine intentions towards cancer? The nine of cups to have their wish granted, to have emotional satisfaction. What's their genuine intention when it comes to cancer? What are their genuine intentions? The fool to have a new beginning, a new start. I feel like this person's intentions is to have a new chapter with you, to have their wish granted, to have emotional fulfillment, to have everything that they desire. I think the, the fool is also about taking risks. Let's see, what can you tell me about the fool? The world, oh yeah, definitely. This is about a new beginning, a new start, and the magician at the bottom of the deck. So this person's very motivated, Cancer. This isn't someone that I feel will be stuck and just remain stuck. I feel like this is someone that's actively willing to get out of this situation. But I feel like this situation of being trapped is really as simple as just making a certain decision because the Two of Wands was the first card out. So I think this person is aware that all they have to do is make a very important decision and that will set things in motion. But the fool of the world, this is about having a new chapter. This is about having a new beginning, a new start when it comes to you or this connection. Taking action, moving forward. Those are two cards of movement, um, action. So this is definitely not someone that's passive. I'm not speaking to a cancer where this person, you know, you know that they're not going to do anything or take any action. Or maybe they tell you they're not going to take any action. And you should take that at face value if that's what they tell you. But I feel like this person, this particular person is different. They wouldn't just say something and then not do it. It feels like this person with the magician is willing to do what it takes. What do they wish they could tell cancer? at this time what do they wish they could tell cancer at this time the king of swords aquarius libra gemini energy and uh, there and king of swords is very direct very honest ace of swords is also here so i feel like this person wants to be honest with you wow the tower i feel like they want to um whatever they have to tell you might be a bit shocking whatever honest thing they have to tell you might be about a tower Three of Pentacles, rebuilding. If there was a tower already, this would be about rebuilding a tower. If there is a tower here with the King of Swords, it could be a shocking uh, confession, revelation, but it's with the purpose of building, working together, collaborating. The Nine of Wands. Hmm. I feel like, Cancer, you might be dealing with someone who's dealing with a situation outside of you. Ace of Wands with the Magician at the bottom of the deck. 
This could be that this person is has had a tower in their own life, not necessarily a tower between you and them, but a tower in their own life that they might want to tell you about. Or it might just be surprising what you hear from them, but I, I'm not picking up surprise as much here. It could be that this person caused a tower in their own life in order to manifest something with the Ace of Wands here and the Magician. As difficult as it was, Nine of Wands, they are going to be very honest with you about whatever this is. That's what they wish they could tell you is this is what's going on and this is what I want with you, Cancer. Let's get some PS I love yous. What do they wish they could tell Cancer at this time, Spirit? What does this person wish they could tell Cancer at this time? What do they wish they could tell Cancer at this time? What do they wish they could tell Cancer? I will make this right again. Okay, so this is about that rebalancing, fixing whatever uh, problem exists here. Burdens and obligations. Yeah, this person's like burdened by something, trapped, or if you are stuck in a situation. Can I get one more? What do they wish they could tell Cancer? What do they wish they could tell Cancer? There's so much I have to tell you. This card keeps coming up for people. There's so much I have to tell you. They have a lot to, I feel, confess or just let you know about. What you need to know is that they want to fix this. They want to make things right again. That they, I feel, are wanting to take action. Wanting to do something about this burden, this obligation. Wanting to have a new beginning with you, a new start. I'm going to take this to the extended because I want to look at uh, what do you need to know about what's going to happen next? What are their next moves? Where is all of this headed in the near future, Cancer, between you and this person? I also want to look at what the challenges or obstacles are here and advice from Spirit on those challenges and obstacles. So if this resonated for you and you want to get more insight, check out the extended. It's more affordable now because they're a little bit shorter, um, but they're still packed with information. So check that out if you'd like. It's linked in the description box. If you'd like to look at the decks that I use, the Oracle decks that I use today in this reading, if you want to look at those closer, um, I do sell those on my Etsy shop and it's linked down below. Uh, thank you so much for watching Cancer. Hopefully this resonated for you. Hopefully you enjoyed the reading. Hit that like button before you leave and subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. Uh, I'll see you all in another video very soon, Cancer. Take care.